Sporting hero Shea Given joins Ryan Tuberty on the Late Late Show tonight at 9.35, but now on RT1, Kieran's turning into a bit of a villain on Shortland Street. I really wanted to go, but I don't want back for a few hours. Kelly, her baby daughter? So are we going to party or what? To stuff in yet. Do you know how much it costs to make a place look this empty? Uh, a lot. Oh, yeah. What? Just wondering how you are after your walk this afternoon. Look, if you don't want to pick up where we left off, then... Stay. I'm dining a la carte tonight. Join me. Pizza for Pierce. That's me. Keep the change. Cheers. Come on, it's just food. Hey, I'm just gonna check on the dance parties. Why don't you make us some coffee? Kieran, what's up? Uh, Libby told me some guy to stroke. Is that true? are pushing party pills. This guy nicked too many, his friends dumped him in the chill-out room and we found him in a coma. Will you be okay? Short answer, no. Is he the only one? So far, why? Call me if there's any more, all right? Okay, sure. You have to call Kingy and tell him to stop selling the pills. Kingy doesn't take kindly to being told what to do. Kingy, it's Kieran. What's up? Some bloke took pills your boys are selling and had himself a stroke. He could die. My boys aren't selling anything. It's Johnny D. Yeah, well, that's not what I heard. He needs to stop selling, mate, and stop my punters taking those pills. What am I? A help service? If this guy dies, they'll investigate. At the very least that happens is Bedlam gets the chop, but if they investigate further, who knows? Shut it down, mate. And tell Kane what? Quote, occupational health and safety. Ed. Tell him the pills are dodgy. Johnny D sees this sweet. What if he's lying? Or if he's too thick to know the difference? What if these things are cut with something? What if the guy was sick anyway? <sighs> right, I've had enough. Meet him there in ten minutes. Wait. The hospital, where do you think? We'd rather wait until the guy dies and then have a chat. All right. Well? Grab your coat, go into Shorten Street. <sighs> Karen. Libby, please, I, I just need some help to get information. I'm trying to do the right thing here, please. So, this is nice. Not hungry, huh? I'd prefer it if you showed me around. Around? Your interior designer's idea of a bedroom? It's comfortable enough. I sleep like a baby. Whatever. I wasn't planning on sleeping. It's through there. Urgent toxicology, thanks. Sarah, how's that guy, the one who took the pubs? Who's asking? Family members? Come on, Sarah, the one who had the stroke, we're worried. He's not well. Beyond that, I can't tell you anything. Look, I'm the one who organised the dance party, so I feel kind of responsible. I need to know what he took and how much. Did you know that they're selling this stuff? No, but I know the punters take them. But that's as far as it goes. If you can stop them being distributed, do so. Are you sure you don't know what they're likely to be? I was hoping you could tell me. But the rumour's BZP. Either way, do what you can to stop it. What's the story? The story is that you're selling stuff that kills people. He's alive, but he's in a bad way. Well, do we know how many he's taken or whether he was on something else as well? No, we don't even know it's BZP for sure. You are directly responsible for this. I didn't sell him those drugs and I didn't tell him to take them. This guy, is he brown or white? I have no idea why. 
Because if he's brown, I could pretend to be his uncle and find out what's what. Whatever happens, Kingy, I'm out. What are you talking about? Bedlam's all yours. I want nothing more to do with them. Kane will have something to say about that. You boys can just crash and burn without my help. Good boy! Yeah. Iran has denied any involvement. Oh, another month and I should be able to afford a down payment on a new car. Well, a second range. Unspecified quantities of illegal drugs were found. The dawn raids were sparked after a tip-off linked the supply of party drugs to the Whitetails gang. It is also alleged that a 20-year-old man, now in critical condition at Shorten Street Hospital, took party drugs supplied to him by the Whitetails. Eight people have been arrested so far. And now to sports where All Black Management have once again gone into... Well, it looks like you just made the right decision. Hopefully in time. Well, the police haven't come knocking on the door yet, so maybe... But even if they do, all I did was consult the organisation of the dance parties. Looks like Kenny will be finishing his law degree behind bars. Yeah. You're insatiable. Shouldn't take me off. Five minutes later, I'm out for it again. <laughs> Sorry, but I have to know. All night I've been wondering when you're either going to crack or finally get around to telling me. Telling you what? About your daughter. Were you ever going to tell me? Go to hell. I only just found out last night when I went into work. If it helps, I think I understand. <sighs> right. You couldn't face going to your baby's funeral. I was a handy distraction. I don't mind. I bet you don't. You got what you wanted. I could have sent you packing, but you obviously didn't want that. Plus, I don't know what you might get up to if you're left on your own. I'm a caring guy. I'm touched. And clearly in denial about what's happened. For which, by the way, you have my sympathy. How did she die? Bacteria, She was prim. What about your family? They live close by? My mother. A couple of hundred k away. Just fine by me. So you're doing this on your own? I have friends. They care. I'm sure they do. Doesn't help. It makes it worse. Don't you feel like you want to... I don't know, break down? Weep and wail and grieve? No. I don't. Been real. Wait. I'll make us breakfast. Thanks, but I'm not hungry. You hardly ate at lunch yesterday. You didn't eat dinner. You need food. Kitchen. Sit. Watch me fry stuff. Gorgeous girl, how's things? Things are annoying. The mechanic can't do my car until tomorrow and somebody's parked in my spot. What's the car like? Oh, it's newish. I'm about to get it towed. Wouldn't they be confused when you ask them to tow your own car? No, I told you it's not my car. It's your name on the paperwork, isn't it? Karen! See? Don't do that! Your name there, which is the registration. There you go. It's your car. I don't understand. I love you, Liv. I give you the world if I could. Karen, you just bought a new bar. You can't afford this. It's all right. I got a good deal. It's not hard, is it? No. If you don't want it, I'll take oh, it back. Thank to... you. My pleasure. Oh, it's gorgeous. So in five years' time, I intend to have a department doing surgery that'll rival anything water's done. Yeah. But enough about me. What do you think of my lovemaking? 
to say so, huh? That's all right. I like a challenge. Do you compete at everything? Only if I know I can win. So was your daughter a plant thing? Anything but. But you got used to the idea. Eventually. I've never experienced losing someone close to me. So I don't know how I'd react. If I'd bottle it up like you or if I'd just go crazy for a bit. I know I'm supposed to crack up, but part of me's like... Kelly was prim, she got sick. She wasn't meant to be. You can't be that detached. I would have been a stink mum. Better than my mother, but still. So when do you think you'll actually let go and really grieve? I'll grieve in my own way, in my own time. And if people don't like it, they can lump it. Fair call. Cool. So you want tomatoes with this? You weren't arrested then, obviously. No. Hmm. Look, if this is about me pulling out the dance parties, forget it. I want nothing to do with your drug selling. Okay, I'll pass the stuff on, but I tell the boys to keep out of it. Yeah. Behind my back, Johnny D offered the boys a cut. Some of them went for it, including this one. Jackson, say hello to the men. Jackson was arrested this morning. Being young and stupid, he got scared and named a few names, so they let him go. I'm organising to get him out of town, but I need to keep him out of the way just for tonight. Oh, no way, Kingy. Look, the cops could come knocking on my door any minute. They could be out there right now. Look, you think I didn't check? Look, he's a good kid. He won't be a hassle. Will you? I don't care. It's not my problem, it's yours. If they find him, they will kill him. Come on, Garen, I need this favour. Okay, so what am I supposed to tell Libby and Gerald? I know those white tail drug dealers you think it should be strung up. Well, guess what? You figure something. Fine. Contact no one. No friends, no family, no one. Just hang here. Thanks, mate. Hmm. Food to night, chill out here. Touch my stuff and I feed you to the dogs. So is he for real? About them killing you if they find you? No word? No, I've called everywhere. Hotels, hospitals, the police. Oh, how about I try looking again? Do you want a coffee first? Yeah, sure. Oh, thank God. Are you okay, mate? We were so worried. Again, it's not very fair on us. Just take one text. <laughs> Sorry, Mum. Sorry, Dad. Where have you been? I just stayed with a friend. Who? It's a friend, all right? <laughs> I'm fine. Okay, well, we're just having a coffee. Would you like one? I'll sort some breakfast. I ate already. I'm just going to go and uh, have a lie down upstairs. Hello, perfect man whom I adore. We drove here. 100 metres. Can you believe it? Just so I could ride in her new car. Which I also adore. Problem? Uh, we have ourselves a house guest. A young white tail named Jackson. The dawn raids this morning picked him up. He got scared and blabbed, so... Now if the gang find him, they'll kill him. If you agree, it's just one night. Well, I'm assuming there's a reason the police picked him up. Yeah, he was one of the kids stealing drugs last night. And why have you got anything to do with him? Kingy asked for a favour. Asked or blackmailed? Asked. <laughs> Unusual, I grant you. How dangerous is this? There is a small risk. And if that's unacceptable, just say the word and I'll get rid of him. But look, for what it's worth, he's young and scared and I feel kind of sorry for him. One night. One night. Oh, nice one. Taking advantage of Kieran's good nature. Uh, outside. Oi! Uh, I'll be back in a minute. So what now? Sit tight. You should be okay. You need to pull your head up. Now is not the time to start altering arrangements. What are you saying? Keep your head down. Go on consulting for the dance parties. Go on laundering the money. Things are messy. Be oh, no. Well, if it isn't the two amigos... I've just been making sure that our friend is still doing his job. And he is. Yeah. There's no need for the sports equipment. It's not you I want to talk to. You. No, this is my body. Don't do that stuff here. I'll do what I want. Try anything. I've got staff and they're just waiting to start triple one. Then you better make sure they don't. 
And you've been incommunicado this morning. Why is that? I've been doing the business. Trying to do the research for the lawyers, trying to save... Someone told me you'd be here. Someone also told me that you know where the kid is. Jackson. No idea. On the run. That's one possibility. I need to have a conference with my colleague. Get out. Do it. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, you want to have a chat with Lee too? I can handle this. Go. Okay, well, I'm going over there now. She'll be cocked out. Perhaps best let her sleep. Did she say we should be in all night? She said with a friend, but it didn't ring true somehow. Alice needs to mourn, not go off drinking the whole night. Why are you looking so smug? I'll find out what's what when I finish my shift. See if she really stayed with a friend. Well, I can't think who. We've called everyone. Yeah. Actually, I'm not sure Alice would want me saying this, but because you're all so worried, Alice stayed at my place last night. Was she okay? Fine. Safe and sound. So you mean stayed with or slept with? Knowing him, I'd suspect the worst. Surely he wouldn't have... You know, if he'd known that she just lost her baby. Mm. What's going on now? Nothing. Kane showed up here and King here talking. Come to work. Take Gerald with you. Gary! Uh, I'm sorry, sir. The uh, courtyard's been cleaned. Actually, the restaurant's close to you. Why don't you grab a booth and I'll let you know when we're done. What's up? Get back in the kitchen. You stand there. Don't let any punters through till I say so. No! No, stop! Don't leave it! Stop it! You're killing him! I'll call the police and I swear I'll name you like that. <laughs> oh, you pig. Get around, bitch. I am not scared of you and neither is Karen. He is not working for you anymore. Is that right? Touch Kingy again and I swear I'll call the police. You're just excited, Oscar. I am not scared of him! Call him! Bring me the boy. Call an ambulance. You were gonna let them kill him. Okay. So you'll give me a call when some shifts come up. I'll talk to you then. Great. Bye. Going back to work? Yeah, through the agency. Do you think that's wise, going back so early? I need to do something positive. Plus pay the rent. No, you don't have to worry about that. I need to do this. I know you're worried about me, but don't. I'm just concerned that you're not... Grieving properly. Something like that. I'm coping in my own way. I really wish that you'd been able to go to the funeral. I went to her grave, at least. And then spent the night with Ethan Pierce. I said I was coping in my own way. You sit with him. So? Well, you barely know the guy. And what sort of creep sleeps with a woman just after... He's not like you think he is. I know, and I'm sorry. I don't mean to judge him. <laughs> making a mess of this. I'm grateful that you care. But I need to be around people who aren't expecting me to crack up any second. I just want you to be okay. My baby died. I don't know whether I'm going to fall apart or not. In the meantime, I'm going to keep living minute to minute, hour to hour. And you won't forget that you have us? <sighs> no. I'm so sorry about Kelly. I know. I know. King, you look terrible. I almost felt sorry for him. Well, if I hadn't threatened to call the police, his so-called fellow whitetails would have killed him. Did they say why? They wanted our house guest. What? Libby, you need to learn to shut up. Okay. It's all right, King, you didn't tell them anything. Do we need to go stay in a hotel or something? You can get your room at the bar if you want. Well, do you think that'll be safe? Could you go and check on Kingy for me? Okay, sure. I don't care what the rules are. You should have called the police. I know. Libby, look, when the police... Detective Bill Ramont, you witnessed the assault on Kingi Tiwaka? Yes. 
If you could just stay here, I'll be back to talk to you shortly. Of course. All right, take a deep breath for me. Sorry, sorry. That's okay. You're only doing your job. Doctor, any chance we're good with our boy here? Uh, until he gets sent for an x-ray, be my guest. Hey, Tracy, how you doing? Good, thanks. Bill, well, you've had a busy day. I have indeed. You weren't home this morning. Sorry, I missed you. I usually make pancakes for dawn rates. I hear you owned it, this. You heard wrong. I fell down some stairs. Well, Rumour is you're no longer to be trusted. It's over, Kingy. We're going to wipe your gang off the face of the earth. If you really care for those kids that you're coaching, tell me who ordered this beating. Kane doesn't deserve your loyalty. If you really want to do the right thing, you have to realise the only way is to bury that psychopathic coward. I can't believe you allowed them to do that to Kingy. It's the world he lives in. Besides, what do you care? You've had it in from ever since he laid eyes on your sister. Well, maybe he's not as bad as I thought he was. He didn't tell them where the boy was, which is way braver than just standing there and watching someone getting beaten to death. Oh, no, I'm not proud of myself. But I was trying to protect us. Maybe you promised me when the police talk to us, you can't tell them what happened. If I do, then Kane will go to jail, where he belongs. Yeah, but he won't be the only one. What do you mean? I haven't only been consulting with the Whitetails on the dance parties. I have other interests in common with you them. You see... So if Kane goes down, I go down. I guarantee I won't come out alive. You'll see to that. How is he? In a world of pain. Look, my officer here is going to take you through the sequence of events while I speak to Miss Jeffries. Ah, uh, you can talk to both of us. We're both there. I'll speak to you separately if that's all right. Sir. You're upset. It was a brutal attack. You were very brave to intervene. If I've guessed right about who you were standing up to. Will Kingy be okay? Till the gang he belongs to decides to finish the job. Did he tell you what happened? No, which is why I need you to. I was only there for a minute. You told my officer you saw the men and what they did. And now I need their names. They'll kill him if they can unless we stop them. Libby, please, who was it? Well, after her big win this morning, only one match stands between Katie Taylor and another world title. We'll have live coverage of the amateur boxing final tomorrow morning from 8 here on RTE1.